Last week, Thursday, My Lights Belize on 6th Street in the Kings Park area of Belize City was hit by armed thieves. They held up the 37 year old manager at gunpoint. Undisclosed amount of cash was stolen. The owner of the business and his worker were at this establishment when three masked men walked in, relieved them of their cell phone. The worker was relieved also of a gold chain valued at $150 and they took an undisclosed amount of cash from the cash register. We are still investigating this matter. Two days prior, three young thieves targeted this store in Elridge with Toledo. They escaped with an undisclosed amount of money. The crime was caught on camera, but ASP Fitzroyero says no investigation can happen because no official report has been made. Another amateur video sent to us. No formal report. Um, I myself saw the video, made some inquiries, and haven't received a formal complaint so far. And then there was a daring attempt at robbery in Belize City. Young thieves were busted by an ex car before they robbed Monica's palm shop in Belize City. However, police cannot investigate because, again, no report has been made. As the number of armed robbers increases, investigators realize one thing. The thieves are using the face coverings as a mask to hide their identities and commit these crimes. In these times, COVID-19, everybody is wearing a mask these days. We are asking that these persons wearing the fishermen type of mask, we are reminding them that that is not the legally prescribed mask for COVID-19. And when officers meet you wearing that kind of face covering, because it's not medically approved, you're also committing an offense. Because we realize that all these robbers that are being committed, they are using the same kind of face covering. It's in the SI, actually, where these are not being tolerated. Because when we already realize that, yes, mischief, you know mischievous people that wants to commit crime, would use that to their advantage. Reporting for Love News. Hippolyta Novello.